Hi all, it's Wise Angel here. Um, oh, sorry, you can't see the camera for some reason. But the camera is on. I can assure you of that. There you are. Right. Okay. Oh, she's. I put Mary, the smaller version, in the way there. So this little recording is about P Diddy. I thought I'd just do a short recording. I noticed Nancy Greer, or is it Nancy Disgrace, as some YouTubers may want to call her, um, is starting to jump on the P Diddy bandwagon again. Months ago, I read on Diddy for the first time. Saying that he was involved in two packs because life ending experience in some way, shape, or form. And he was definitely involved in the ladies passing and other stars were getting twitchy bottoms as well but I'm digressing a little bit there but nancy grace is just jumping on the kfd case now because it's just because it's due up to court and she's now wondering if kfd will subpoena him well, the cards I read the other day on my channel is my viewers or subscribers or friends will attest to have all came back is to say yes, he will be asked to give evidence it w well in a way that won't be be given he won't be asked he will be impeached just like they'd impeach a governor this way it means he can't disappear just like now uh in the uk we have a TV personality who started off as a PH3 girl who used to get a tat as out for money. We call her Katie Price. She is trying to, well, she's an she's going on holiday. But the UK government, the HR, HMRC, our tax man, is now issued an arrest warrant on her because she's going on holiday again and she is, I think, twice or three times bankrupt, which means she should be given the tax man her money rather than going away on holiday. So whenever she goes on holiday, she is either getting boobs done, teeth done, or whatever else cosmetic surgery done and then comes back and the NHS usually have to put things right which isn't right on the rest of us because then the rest of us have to wait months and months or maybe years to get the surgeries that we need yeah so that's a little bit of a comparative so if he were to try and skip once he's been impeached I believe there would be an arrest warrant or a seizure, possibly of his passport to stop him from having any international travel. I think that's how it may work, rather than a normal subpoena. So, Nancy Grace, or Disgraceful, when you start doing your research properly, more effectively, 
do it a little bit earlier on instead of bandwagon jumping when it's a bit too late when everything's already going through the motion Vinny Politan, I think or is it Politan I think he already did it months ago as well he already started looking at the case then but you were just pulling bits and bobs from other people's channels as you say do your own research yeah it works wonders and i'm gonna have a look to see if i can right bear with me a second As I have digressed again. So I look for something else. I will be just two seconds. So I have a buried, I've buried it from my original topic. So what I will be back with is once the case with KVD gets up and running, I will do a further reading because I believe KVD is going to spill some major, major beans. And to bury it further, I will say that he will implicate Jello and he will also Say who ordered Biggie Smalls's life ending two It wasn't just about the money, honey. It was about total control. Total control and the need for the control over back catalogues. The back catalogues of many, and this person, as I've said previously, wanted to be the same as in sequency, as I've renamed this person. And this person is, um, how shall I say it?
is what should I see? How can I put this? Hmm. Well, I'll say the power hungry. But yeah, they may be power hungry, but they will hustle for the power to get whatever they want. Just like some YouTubers we all know. And we've tried to bring in on the straight and narrow. Um, but the, those YouTubers... want total dominance just like this other person um because of telling people that they cannot follow cases which are public because they have a superiority complex and they want all the clout and they are the they think they are the diadem but they're not because they lack the knowledge they lack the qualification and they don't understand the legalities properly and they go off half cocked but again i have gone off I've delegated off my topic again and let's see it well, I've divigated or divigated. Well, I've divigated. It's a nice word, that isn't it? Divigate. Well, I've divigated, and of course, I will pull a little bit of a protection card because we need to keep some of these people in fear and may i also add to the hyenas out there that please be careful what you say about some of the british cases even some of the brits who comment on true crime will not touch a british case until all the information is out there because they know the implications of the law our government are quite strict with gdpr and so are the police and if things come out which are misrepresented with facts they will come after you as they did in the nicola bully case and there is a guy off youtube he was sent to jail they don't mess about just take this as a piece of friendly advice okay so the hyena is saying it was all dead to be different yes be different but do it legally and safely this is the archangel joffiel's card and it says dear is the next card d 
do you so trust in the support of the universe archangels michael and faith are here so this card is opening both the heart and the third chakras and it is coming in with a lot of deep protection and to keep you grounded and basically earthed and then we have the llama the llama is saying set clear boundaries and for enforce them and this is the archangel chamuel the archangel of communication archangel of looking for last lost people and lost causes and is it sin set clear boundaries and enforce them so what i'm saying is when you're looking at cases set your boundaries don't dig too much too soon don't spread misinformation because you upset the families involved you don't give them time to grieve their loss their missing person their loved one their child their husband their wife their son their daughter and the list goes on please give them time to process what is going on i know only too personally when you lose a loved one in tragic circumstances it doesn't take hours to process that sudden loss when that loved one that very close loved one is wrenched away from you put on life support and then you're told it's time to take that person off their life support because they're never coming back to you so just be just be careful instead of being honorary stop being assholes show a bit of empathy put yourself in their shoes instead of finding yourself in their shoes one day because one day you could be that person feeling lost alone anxious depressed sad happy yeah because you go through all of those emotions while you're grieving then you go through the emotion of extreme anger you go through the emotion of want to string someone up you're angry with the police you're angry with the health service because they haven't been able to save you your loved one you're angry with the police because things are not moving and most of all you're angry really angry with the perpetrator because the perpetrator isn't getting locked away fast enough or if at all so i'm just asking you all to take a step back and let those families have a breather let them come up for air now and then before you step into their case before you get your noses in deep in their ish even more so if it's a family member of a child step away from that child please let that child transition into spirit the spirit world peacefully let their family members process their grief let them begin that grief journey because that grief journey can take years they don't need you up in their business blessed are the angels who walk amongst us each and every day guiding us guarding us and keeping us safe from 
the evils of social media and in the physical realm. May they help and assist the th now three young girls who passed in that tragic incident and their dance teachers who are still fighting in hospital for their fighting to heal. May they all either transition with the angels and heal with the angels swiftly and smoothly. May I thank the he absolute hero who heard their screams and went into help, putting his whole own life at risk. May we thank him and get, ask his angels to give him support. May we also ask for the support, ongoing support for the emergency workers who went in to that catastrophic scene. As well as all of their friends, families, and very close loved ones who all need some propping up right now. May our prayers be heard. May our love be sent. May healing be received. Amen. Blessed be. So more it be and more be it. <laughs>